A wedding party in full swing. Every year, 10 million Indian couples are declared husband and wife. 90% are arranged marriages. This couple took the traditional path, getting married four months after meeting. Marriage in India is often a union of two families. The groom and bride will usually share a similar family background, religion, caste, education and occupation, all seen as the bedrock of a happy marriage. The quest to find the perfect somebody is an event that involves the whole family and often other relatives. The Sunday newspaper is a popular first step. Families can search for and compare prospective partners that best suit their requirements. Marriage bureaus are a common sight in any city, busy with families in search of a fitting spouse. Businessman. I see. That uh, person. Mm -hmm. Then educated well. Oh, okay. And his house is well at, at that time. Mm -hmm. And parents is also educated. I want. Mm -hmm. Here, the parents take the lead. In recent years, though, the decision making is changing, and prospective brides are speaking up. We get married to a human, we don't get married to the religion. So you might come across probably a minor, minority community, but you're still worth, maybe you're, you're worth more than what maybe a person coming from a good background is, is, is coming from, you know. Maybe you have more things to offer. Hi. Women's role in society is evolving, and so is the age-old search for a perfect match. Pune is located in Midwestern India. The city has a population of about 4.5 million. Down a side street, away from the hustle and bustle, is a marriage bureau. People from all walks of life arrive at these doors even politicians and celebrities. Nandini Dange is 80 years old. She's been in charge of the Bureau since she founded it over 30 years ago. Dange's introductions have helped more than 15,000 couples tie the knot. She has a keen eye for compatibility a reputation that attracts up to 400 new applicants a month. These are two forms. This is for the boy, and the pink is for the girl. Questions range from date of birth, education and occupation, to personal habits and views on married life. A quick scan of the form shows the matchmaker all the applicant's requirements for a lifelong partner. You know, they all want extremely beautiful girls. That is why we have to see the photo first. It's very difficult, you know. Okay, thank you. Fair, good features, smart and slim. I'll show you the photograph, what they expect. Okay. See, they want a girl like this. Something like this. You got it? 
लुक्स तर सगळ्यांना माधुरी दीक्षित पाहिजे असतात खरं सांगते स्वतःला आरशात बघत नाहीत Matchmaking in India is a family activity and relatives have certain characteristics in mind when the search begins. तनीच्या मोठ्या बहिणीचं पण आम्ही केलं पण ते कास्ट मध्ये नाही केलं. त्याच्यामुळे थोडा प्रॉब्लेम होतो म्हणजे असं बट ती खुश आहे ना. हा ती खुश आहे पण तरी फरक पडतो ना खूप कल्चरल डिफरन्स खूप फरक पडतो. म्हणजे किती असं सुशिक्षित असलं काय असलं तरी फार फरक पडतो. त्यामुळे आम्हाला वाटतं की हिचं आमच्या कास्टमध्येच व्हायला पाहिजे These two are mother and daughter but they are here on behalf of someone else uh, I am looking for a bride for my son he is in RI he stays in USA and I am looking a bride for him so I I came here to take her uh, uh, consultation and uh, any chance date of birth is very important she should be 2 years uh, younger than him her height her weight and her education that is always very important for me to check india is a country of diverse religions and cultures people believe that sharing the same values and lifestyles is key to a happy marriage to is a tradition and they know love marriage is a lasting for very few years that is a family background check is very important and arranged marriage system will never go from india it will remain many indian parents share that faith in arranged marriages and go to great lengths to ensure a compatible partnership One woman beginning her matchmaking journey is Rucha. She is 27 years old. Her parents had visited Dange's bureau beforehand. Today they've come back with their daughter. I got to know Ella suitable at that day. Rucha is given a selection of candidates based on Dange's review. First, the mother takes a look. She was to come. ती सगळ्यात पहिले बघतीये पॅट्स आवडतात का ती खूप खूप भयंकर ती बाकीचं काही बघत नाही आधी बघतीये पेट आवडते With her mother advising, Rucha chose four men with a similar occupation and education. It's her first step in the matchmaking process. The family return to their home in the suburbs of Pune. Rucha lives with her father, mother, and 22-year-old sister. Rucha is a lawyer, a job she's held for more than 3 years. Both of her parents are lawyers and her younger sister wants to become one as well. But legal work is not her only interest. Rucha is also a qualified instructor of traditional Indian dance. She's hoping her future husband will allow her to continue both activities. That's, that's like a small expectation that even they should encourage me doing uh, performing or taking classes or anything. Rucha is the dog lover in this family. 
Right now, she's caring for three furry companions. That evening, the family gathers to review the four prospects chosen at Dange's bureau. There's much to discuss. The girl should come from a good, good family, family background, preferably educated in English medium. Age between 25 to 29 years of age. Height between 5'3 to 5'8. The hair is not going to be able to get the photo. Your weakness, I am a bit choosy. <laughs> In Indian marriages, checking that the stars are aligned is also important. It just so happens Rucha's mother is a certified astrologer. It is very important. That's why we always uh, go through the horoscope. Mm -hmm. So it is the best uh, mirror image of the uh, human anatomy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what will be the nature of the um, life partner. We can easily find out mm -hmm. from the horoscope. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that, is why, that, that is why mm -hmm. very important to see before mm -hmm. the marriage performance. Mm -hmm. That life partner is a very big decision because then uh, at the end they will think like how they have uh, grown like they have um, inculcated a lot of things in me they want the same things that I should enjoy the same life after marriage also the family has decided Rucha will proceed with two candidates one is a lawyer and the other says he would put family first. Over the past 30 years, more Indian women have become financially independent. Many are now opting to choose partners on their own, with less input from their parents. This woman, in search of a partner, has come to the bureau alone. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 You're so pretty. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, these are the props I kept it for you. Okay. You select. Okay. Uh, come, please sit up. Sayali, 32 years old, registered one year ago. She has been matched with two men so far. But in the end, both failed to satisfy. Today, she's here for her third try. Yo, I think I'll this go ahead. Okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. okay. So I'll talk okay. to him also just now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, first impression is the last impression of a person. So I'd like to see how uh, well-spoken the boy is, how well-educated he is, and that, that talks about uh, through his manners. So maybe these are small little things that I would be looking at uh, in a boy. So, you know, just like small gestures make a big difference. So maybe there's small little things. Yes, okay. done, done. Okay, okay. Cholo, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Dange arranges a meeting for tomorrow. Girls are definitely more open. They have studied also quite a lot now. They have more exposure. Their expectations are much more now. Because what has happened now, the families are becoming very small. So they also prefer small families. Sayali has her own apartment in Pune. She lives alone. She attended boarding school from a young age, setting her on the road to independence, both social and financial. After graduating from college, Sayali found a job at a company in Mumbai. Five years later, she relocated to an IT company in Pune where she has a wide circle of friends and acquaintances. 
पर्सनली आई डेफिनेटली प्रिफर अ लव मैरिज बिकॉज यू नो द पर्सन क्वाइट एन एडवांस इन केस इफ आई हैड एंडेड अप मीटिंग समबडी थ्रू माई वर्क आई वुड हैव डेफिनेटली कंसिडर द पर्सन एंड प्रॉब्ली थॉट अबाउट यू नो गोइंग फॉर एन लव मैरिज इन दैट केस She has a fulfilling job, working flexible hours, and had enjoyed living by herself. But sometimes she felt lonely and decided to start looking for a partner. Look, I'm a girl. I have I live in my mind most of the times, you know. I have like an ideal like for example, I imagine, you know, going out, taking uh, doing grocery shopping with my husband. you know eating at a restaurant watching watching just netflix at home and chilling you know uh, doing workout together like somebody who's who's like a very good friend who i can so i yeah, i definitely have lots of fantasies in my life see something like this She heads to the cafe where they will meet. Hi. Hi, Amar. Nice to meet you. Thank you. This is Sayali's third candidate since she started down the matchmaking path. My full name? His name is Amar. He's 35 years old and runs a construction company. So how many girls if you don't mind me asking how many girls have you met? Maybe eight to ten girls. I've you've met in person. Uh, even if you don't know whom you want to marry, correct. at least you get to know whom you don't want to marry. Ha, uh, correct. At least That's, one side is clear. And yeah, even after marriage, I want to move out, have this uh, independent alone time with, to spend with my wife hmm. for a year or two, at least create that bonding, bonding, have fun together, and you know maybe travel outside. Yeah. So whatever we want to do, explore each other and. Uh, You really get to know the things about each other when you're alone. Not correct, correct. When not when family is around, of course, yeah. definitely. That's right. Sayali has watched many of her friends get married. Knowing those couples convinced her of what she should value in a partner. For me, more than religion, more than community, a person and his values, and his. thought process and stuff those things matter more than anything else because that's what at the end of it you're going to live with right and it's not the community or it's not the traditions somebody who would accept me for who i am you know so that is the reason i always put 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 my face that this is how i am okay let's see if this works out or no you know that's i i think that was like much easier way to deal with things you know Values are changing, and thanks to modern technology, so is matchmaking. In recent years, more Indians are finding love and companionship online. This company, established in 1997, runs a matchmaking app. With digital natives now of marriageable age, the number of app users has reached 7 million. And with an app, it becomes even more easy because on the move, whenever they are like you no know, free, when they are in you know maybe in a commute, they can actually take the phone and they can look at the uh, matches. They can connect through a chat or a video call or a voice call, you know, uh, at their convenience. And we also see something that more and more tier three and tier four cities and towns, smaller towns, more and more people are now you know getting into this online platform. because of you know the awareness of uh, all the social media and all those things matchmaking apps are proving especially popular in rural areas where marriage bureaus are few and far between navudaya param is a village in the southern state of kerala it is home to 250 households Rolia is 34 years old. So for tomorrow's wedding how many of your relatives have come? 
maybe 700 uh, neighbors, friends, and relatives. So almost 700 people are there. Will be the marriage. Some of neighbors are there, and they will come tomorrow marriage. Tomorrow, Rolia is getting married to a man she met on the app. The village will light up in a festival to celebrate the occasion. But the merrymaking begins the day before. A dinner party will take place in the evening with 350 guests. Friends of Rolia are here to help with the preparations. Super. Nice. It's very nice. Rolia lost her mother when she was 22. While working as a civil engineer, she took care of her father, who had a chronic illness, and her two younger brothers. Rolia's brother registered her on the matchmaking app, hoping she would find happiness in marriage. A few years before, I am not getting ready for marriage. And my family too forcefully uh, request to marry. But I don't, I want to live in single, single life. And my father is getting old, and he's very tense about my future. So I think I am. I think for my father. Andu bine ya angalu enter matro lo. Indu bine. Aavaru gudi la. Aayi me enter chhi. Vore. Okay. It's finished. Once married, Rolia will live with her husband's family. The partner she met through the app lives about an hour's drive from this village. Luvi, her father, knows this is his daughter's last night living in the village. He works to keep the guests happy so Rolia can leave with a smile. The pre-wedding celebration continued late into the night. The day of the wedding. Rolia's partner has arrived. His name is Vinod, a 42-year-old civil servant. Rolia wears a red sari, okay. a gift from Vinod's family. They head together to the ceremony venue. The wedding ceremony is conducted according to Hindu teachings and local customs. Red powder daubed on the hairline is a sign of a married woman. With family and relatives watching over them, the couple becomes husband and wife. After the ceremony, the bride and groom are presented in front of 700 family, friends and villagers.
They met on the matchmaking app four months ago. Today is the seventh time they have met in person. So excited and I'm very tensed. <laughs> what about my future? <laughs> Family life? So, uh, I don't know what his character or uh, his uh, demands or I don't know anything about that. And I wish he's gentle with that. They will finally get to know each other better after getting married. Back in the city, it's another busy day at Dange's marriage bureau. See, all of us have negative points. You have, she has, he has, I have. So we have to adjust, we have to compromise. Then only marriage will work. The girls will remain bachelors unless they will find the correct person. They will take their own sweet time. They are not in a hurry at all. Even their age is increased. They are not in a hurry at all. Of course, yes. Definitely, till she gets married, we will keep looking for a partner for her. Definitely. While matchmaking has a long tradition in India, women are starting to see marriage in a new light. The search for partners will continue to evolve, part of the unending quest for happiness.